everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all really really well and um, thank you for jumping on today's video and giving it a watch um, i really do appreciate it um this will like it should be one of the first videos of 2023 um um yeah no it should be thinking about it i'll just have to make sure it's edited and up um but yes welcome to my channel if you are new here then welcome and if you are a returning viewer or subscriber then welcome back um as you know from my channel we do all things pregnancy motherhood toddlerhood hauls beauty reviews everything we just do everything here um but a little quick little bit of backstory if you are new here i currently have a 27 month old toddler um a little boy and I am 20 weeks pregnant with baby boy number two so yeah it's all happening here in this household especially in 2023 um so I thought one of the sort of first videos I would bring you for 2023 is um five things I want to achieve this year um they're not you know <laughs> groundbreaking or anything um, but I thought I would just make a quick video, um, tell you what I want to achieve, hopefully, hopefully achieve it. I'm not saying I can achieve all of these, but I just thought it's a nice little video to go out in the new year. Um, and hopefully if anyone else is thinking about what they want to achieve, it just, they don't have to be the same as mine, but just maybe gives you a little bit of what's the word not inclination but to go and write your own list maybe so before we get into this please do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already just click subscribe under this video and um, click the notification bell to be notified of all future uploads um but let's get into it because i can't jabber on for too long because i do actually have my 20 week scan very soon i need to go um <laughs> but yes five things I've literally just picked my like top five um on here or four here I've just got the room down in front of me so that's why I'm looking down um so number one is to be more present on my social media so that means a whole range of things to me so I'll quickly explain it especially like when I work my three days I'm not very present at all that will likely carry on because obviously I work all day and then I come home and I have Tommy so being really present on those days is a lot harder um so I'm always more present on like my four days I've got off of that week um but I want to be more present I want to talk on my stories because I don't understand I can do a YouTube channel and talk but I won't talk on my stories because it freaks me out so I just got to get over that I need to like actually make sure I message people back quicker than I do because I don't like I used to talk to um Charlotte from my hello all the time and sometimes I just she messages and I totally forget to go like go back to her and that's just terrible and it I just need to get better at like responding real time um I need to like get better at posting like Tommy's outfit pics and getting better at like posting what we do um because we go for some great days out and then I like I obviously sometimes I just want to be in the moment with my little boy which is fine sometimes I do take the pictures and, and then I never do anything with them so it's just all about being more present on social media um so that's number one um number two is something that's totally beyond my control I don't even know why I wrote this um but hopefully in this pregnancy go full term that would just be a dream out of all of this, out of all five, this is the one I want to do. <laughs> but it is beyond my control. It's very up in the air. Um, if you didn't know, if you are new to my channel, I had Tommy at 31 plus one. Um, so he was very early um, and we did have a neonatal stay. And yeah, it was very traumatic to say the least. Um, keep an eye on my channel because I will be doing a video about like my um ptsd and well you'll see like my birth story my neonatal story 
and like a quick update of me being diagnosed with PTSD from my birth. Um, but I haven't really like delved into it, but I am gonna do a video this year on my channel about um, being supported by the birth trauma team at my hospital. So I'll give you more of an in-depth bit then. And um, yes, number two is to hopefully go full term, which would be a dream and have a water bath, which would also just be a dream. But who knows, all of this is beyond my control, um, but we shall see. Um, number three is create a financially stable life for our boys. Um, I'm not saying that we are like poverty stricken or anything like that. You know, we aren't, we get by, um, but I would just like to be a little bit more financially stable um, than we are, not to be like throwing money away, but almost the mindset of like not having to count the pennies all the time. Just think, oh, do you know what? We want to go out for the day and we just do it. I think that's kind of the mindset. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I just want to create a more financially stable life for our boys um, as they're growing up. Um, so, you know, we can give them the best life we can. I'm not saying I want to be loaded and swimming in money. I just want to have a little bit more disposable income. Um, in a way, which leads me on to point number five, but we'll get to that. That's my last one. Um, but yeah, just to be able to have some more disposable income without having to give up working part-time to spend time with them. Because I think the time is more important than the money, if that makes sense, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's number three. And then number four is to reorganize my whole house. <laughs> um, so we will be doing that anyway, because uh, we will be moving Tommy from his nursery into his big boy room. Um, so I think that's a real opportunity to like sort of gut out and re-jig and redo and just declutter every room. Because sort of once you've done one room, it all kind of flows because we've got to move stuff out the spare room now into the study. You've then got to move Tommy and his bits into the spare room. And then we'd redo our like bedroom because we'll have to put the next to me cribs and the baby stuff in there. So that will need a rejig. And then obviously the nursery will need redoing for the new baby. And then downstairs will need redoing because we'll have to get bits out for the baby in the living room. And we'll also have to put all the bottle making stuff in the kitchen. So that one should definitely be done because we will be reorganizing the whole house. And then number five is to grow my YouTube enough to monetize it basically. Um, so in order to do that, you do need to have enough watch time hours and enough subscribers, um, which is why I always ask if you don't subscribe, please do, um, because I would like to make a side income from YouTube as well, which ties into point three to create a financially more stable life for the boys and growing my YouTube will help that. So please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, you do have to like meet certain criteria points to monetize your YouTube and like pop things in and add things in. So yes, if I could ask once again, that's my little boy running around upstairs, if you can hear him. Um, but yes, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my channel, giving it a like and commenting. That really does help more than you know. And obviously it will hopefully help me achieve what I want to in 2023. But I am gonna go because I don't wanna ramble on too much in this video because I do have my appointment and obviously my little feral toddler up there is ready to come back down, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly tidy up in here and go and go to my scan and spend some time with my little boy. But yes, thank you for watching one of my first videos of 2023. I look forward to seeing what we will achieve in 2023 and um, happy new year everyone. Bye guys.